Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I hope you are having an amazing day. This morning I'm going to crack into some editing, but first we need to roll the intro. So today I wanted to show you guys how you can manipulate colors in Premiere Pro by using HSL Secondary. This is something that I use for my real estate videos to make the sky appear more blue. So let's jump onto Premiere Pro and I can show you guys how I do this. Awesome, so we are now here in Premiere Pro. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my footage and drag it onto the timeline. Uh, this is a clip that I filmed yesterday um, from the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, I filmed this with the picture profile D-Log M, uh, which the Mavic 2 has. So as you can see, the colors are quite faded um, and it's not very vibrant. So what I'm gonna do is apply a light color grade. Um, so I usually just give it a little bit of sharpness. I'm also going to increase the saturation as well until it looks about right. So probably about here. So I'll say 165. Also for doing the sky replacement, just bringing down the highlights also helps and gives a better end result. So what we're gonna do now is head down to HSL secondary. You're gonna open that up. Now, what we wanna do is select the color of the sky here, which is blue. Now you can do that by setting the color with the eyedropper tool. You just have to click on the sky, but what I usually do is just click on this blue little icon here. And you can see that here that the um, sliders have moved around. In this image here, there's a lot of blues throughout the whole entire composition. You have uh, the blue tennis courts down here, and there's a few buildings around that are also blue. Now what we wanna do is tell the computer to ignore all the blues that are down here and to only focus on the sky. So I've selected the color blue, and now I'm gonna play around with the two different sliders here. So when you play around with the sliders, what you'll see is that all the colors except from blue have been removed from the image. Now what we want to do is we only want to be changing the color of the sky. So if you keep on increasing the slider here, you'll see that down in the left corner, the tennis courts have started to disappear. And if we keep on going, you'll see that the clouds as well start to disappear. And we will kind of want to keep it about there. So what I'm going to do now is play around with this bottom slider. Now, as I increase this, what you'll notice is the dark blue parts of the image start to disappear they get keyed out to that gray color. So as you can see, I've keyed out everything that's on the land and now the sky just remains. Now what I'm gonna do is add a bit of denoise and I'm also going to increase the blur. So now is the fun part where we get to manipulate the color of the sky that we have selected. So what I usually do is I like to play around with this here. By just decreasing it, you'll see that the sky becomes a little bit more darker and a little bit more blue. Um, if we increase this, you'll see it becomes a little bit more white as we increase this all the way up. So what I do is just decrease this just a little bit. Now what I also do is decrease the temperature. Now if you give this too much, the sky can look really, really blue. Um, so I only give this about a minus 15. And that's where I find that the sky looks just about right. So that is how you can manipulate and change different colors in Premiere Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!